Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Flow Builder Practice Set Series. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can create a lookup field in Flow. All right. So the scenario would be something uh, such as I I I want to uh, create a screen flow for contact creation. So if you guys remember that, like, you know, what are the required fields for creating a contact? So I would be giving a few text field for like, you know, first name, last name, and whatever the other information I want that. And then I would also be creating a lookup field on that screen for populating account. All right. So uh, let's just go ahead and check it out how to do it. So here, going to create a flow. So screen flow. So first of all, I want the uh, screen to be created. So user screen. And here I would be giving the space for um, first name. First name and then uh, another, another text for last name. For last name. And let's just, let's just give one more or Oh, this is okay. I now I'll 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 be creating a lookup for account. Okay, so lookup now API name. So here, right? So this lookup that I'm like you know I'm wanting to create here is for account, right? To populate the account while I I would be creating the contact from here, right? So here in the API name, you need to go to uh, so API name is just for this field, right? For your preference, this one. So let's just say uh, account name or something like this, but this one field API name, this one is not something that you need to provide as a custom um, API name, right? You need to actually go on the contact object because you're trying to create a contact record here, right? So you need to go on the contact object and you need to check what is the API name of the account lookup over there, okay? So let me quickly go to object manager and uh, contact so here it is so in contact uh, there is a lookup for account right and this is the api name so this is what you need to give over there where is the flow here so field api name okay so this is the field api name label you can give whatever you want so i'm just giving it as account name you can like you know either give your name or you can use the label which is there on the object both like you know uh, it's it's fine both ways but this field api name you need to pick it pick the api name from the object all right and then object api name is uh well, let's just api name of the source object okay so now here do not get confused and do not give like you know the object name of the lookup that you're creating it is asking the object name of the source sorry api name of the source object and what is the source your source is contact right because your this field of yours is like you know is available on contact so contact would be the source object here okay so contact hold on it should populate all right no worries so this is the api name for contact object and everything else is fine all right so I just gave the API name for this field that I'm creating and then field API name would be the API, actual API name of the field on the contact object. Label, you can give whatever you want and object API name would be the API name of the source object, okay? So click on done and uh, now I have like, you know, uh, given the screen to get all the information of contact from the user. Now let's just go ahead and create the record. So here we can use the create record element. So Create, create contact record, contact record, okay. And here um, object would be contact. And what are the fees that we have included? First name, first name from the screen component, then last name, last name from the screen component, and then account id account id what was the api name uh this was the api name that i had given right account name and dot id okay record id yeah this is fine 
All right, so I mapped all the three fields that I uh, that, that I actually have on the screen component to the to these values, right? While creating the contact. So let's just click on done. All right, and that's all that we have to do. So look at them. So. Activate. Let's just go on uh, account page and include this component. Sorry, this flow. So we just need to drag it on the page. So the flow. And here we need to select which flow do we want to display over here. So this was look up flow demo, right? And let's just save this. This is saved. Now let's just go back to the account record and check. All right, so here let's just give the first name as first name and something like this, last name. And then here, if you see it, like the structure is created like a lookup, but if I click on this, then it should behave like a standard lookup, right? Wherein like, you know, you see all the other values, like, you know, from the object. So here you can see, right, that all the existing accounts that I have, it already started showing me the values. So let me select this one, this account and click on next. So the record should be created. Now, if I go to that, this is, the, this is the account that I had selected, right? So he, on this account, I should be able to see that contact that I had created, right? first name and last name. So contact, this is the one that I created, right? First name, last name, this is the contact I created. Now let me also like, you know, show you something, some others. So test 11, last name 11, and I'll select some other account and not this one, just to, so, uh, Testing record type count. Let's just go to that account. Testing record type count. This one should have that contact that we just created. So here it is, right? So this is how you can create a lookup in your screen flow. All right. I'll see you in the next one.